Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brittany. Today we're going to be exploring a lot of the wineries around Orlando. Whenever I moved here roughly three years ago, I had no idea that there were so many wineries in the city. People think Orlando, they think Disney, they think theme parks, but there's a whole lot more to Orlando. In the coming months on this channel, I'll definitely show you more of what Orlando has to offer. So we're at our first winery now, and it's the closest one to the city. We're actually roughly a mile from downtown in the Mills District and we're at Quantum Leap Winery. It's actually the only sustainable winery in the state of Florida. They source their grapes from around the world from sustainable and organic small farms. They ship them here and mix and ferment on site. Flight started around $8 for three tastings and I think that's a pretty good deal. They have an amazing patio that's dog friendly and they work with animal rescue organizations. Always a plus. I love this place. I think it's fantastic. You should definitely check it out if you're in Orlando and that's just the first one we have to offer. Next up on the list is Island Grove Winery. Now you couldn't get any closer to Disney than this one. You're only 10 minutes from Disney main gate. So if you're a tourist in the area and you want to visit a winery, this is the winery that's close to you. It also has food, which is fantastic. And it is awesome for large groups because they have a self-serve wine bar. Now let's go into the cons. Once again, it has a self-serve wine bar. So we got eight tastings for $24, which is extremely expensive because they were very small pours. So con number one is it's kind of expensive. Con number two is that self-serve wine bar. Even though it's good for groups, if you're looking for a nice relaxing day at the winery, this is not the winery. If you're looking for a wine experience and some food, on Saturdays they have brunch. I check this place out for sure. Their wines are on the sweet side. So keep that in mind if you prefer drier wines. They also serve international wines here. I also wanted to note that their back patio is dog friendly. They have a large patio, but only a small portion of it is shaded. So if it's a hot summer day, consider sitting inside. Their large selection of fruit wines is really what puts them on the map. Locals like them because they serve the gambit. Peach, blackberry, strawberry, they serve them all. They're especially known for their blueberry wines. So if you stop in, make sure to try some of their blueberry wine. The blueberry Moscato is my personal favorite. Last stop of the day is True Blue Winery down here in Davenport. So a little ways from Orlando, but actually not too bad. They have a dog friendly patio in the back. It's kind of rustic, it has a very local feel. I think you would like it. The wines that they're known for is their blueberry and blackberry. They have three different kinds of blueberry wines and along with a whole bunch of other fruit wines also. I particularly like the peach here. They also have food. We split a Cuban sandwich. It was fine. It wasn't very authentic. On Saturdays, they also have wood-fired pizza, which is kind of a nice touch. I like the wines. I like the vibe. I'd come back. I also would like to mention that a flight here is only $11 and you get to keep the wine glass. That's kind of a steal. Maybe worth the drive. Thanks for joining me on this video, visiting local Orlando wineries. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.